Hi everyone. Welcome to today's presentation. Today we are going to discuss a question on three-dimensional geometry. Now this is from KCSE 2017 paper 2 question number 20. It reads the figure below represents a cuboid a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, in which A, B is 16 centimeters, B, C is 12 centimeters, and C, F is 6 centimeters. So that is the diagram. Then, but A, name the projection of the line B, E on the plane A, B, C, D. That is quite simple. B, calculate correct to one decimal place, Roman 1, the angle between A, D, and BF. Roman 2, the angle between line BE and plane ABCD. Roman 3, the angle between planes HBCE and BCFG. And finally, point N is the midpoint of EF. Calculate the length BN correct to one decimal place. Straight to the first part, name the projection of the line BE on the plane ABCD. Projection of a line is just the shadow of that line on that plane in question. So we have line BE. So if I may draw it from E up to B, that is BE. Now, BE will have its shadow on plane A, B, C, D right here. In other words, the shadow is the projection. So, the projection of line BE is just BD. That is the projection on plane A, B, C, D. Okay, but B, calculate correct one decimal place the angle between AD and BF. Let's see, AD. AD is this line here, and BF will be this line here. Now, as you can see, BF and AD are lying on different planes. We have plane B, C, F, G, where BF lies, and we also have plane A, D, E, H, where AD lies. To make work easier here, we are going to identify on plane A, D, E, H, the line that corresponds to line BF. So BF is the diagonal on this plane B, C, F, G. Plane B, C, F, G is similar to plane A, D, E, H. So on A, D, E, H, the line that corresponds to line BF is this line here, A, E. Instead of getting the angle between AD and BF, we are going to get the angle between AD and AE because AE here already represents BF. Both of them are diagonals on these two faces. Okay, so we are going to extract this triangle. This is A, this is D, and then here we have E. And then at D we have angle 90. In this question we are asked the angle between AD and BF and that is this angle here. Remember AE takes the place of BF. This angle let's call it theta. For us to get theta already we know that AD, AD should be 12. So if BC is 12 then AD should be 12 too. So AD is 12. DE is 6 centimeters because it's equal to CF. So that angle theta will be obtained by saying tan theta is equal to opposite of adjacent, which is a half. So that theta becomes the tan inverse of a half, which is just 0 0.5. Well, when you work out this, theta becomes 26.5651 and because we are asked to do this to one decimal place then we'll have it as 26.6 degrees. For Roman 2 
we are required to get the angle between line BE and plane A, B, C, D. We have BE. B is this one here. And we have plane A, B, C, D. Usually, the angle between a line and a plane is the angle between that line and its projection on that plane. So we have the line B, E, and its projection on plane A, B, C, D is B, D, just as we had determined earlier on. So we need this angle here. So extracting triangle B, D, E. B, here is D, here is E. D, E, we know is 6 centimeters, that height. 6 centimeters. D, B, let's consider triangle A, B, D. A, B, D, with this angle here as 90. So, A, B is 16, A, D is 12. And therefore, B, D is obtained by Pythagoras theorem, and that will be the square root of 12 squared plus 16 squared. So, I believe this one worked out should give us uh, the square root of 400, and that is 20. And with BD being 20, now we know what BD is. This is now 20. Oh, here should be 90. So the angle between BE and BD will be the angle between the line BE and the plane ABCD. Okay, so we say tan theta is equal to, so we are saying tan because here is opposite and adjacent with respect to this angle. So tan theta is equal to opposite, which is 6, adjacent over adjacent, which is 20. And that means theta is equal to, so this one simplifies to 3 over 10, which is 0 0.3. So we get the tan inverse of 0 0.3, and that should give us 16, point six nine nine and that should be approximately sixteen point seven degrees according to the question we are asked to leave our answer correct to one decimal place Roman three we are required to get the angle between planes H B C E and B C F G we have plane H, B, C, E, and B, C, F, G. Let me have it here. This is plane B, H, E, and here is C. So this plane here, and then this other plane right here. We have B, C, F G. Okay, so the angle between the two planes should be the angle between these two lines. We'll have two lines on the two planes that meet on the edge of the two planes, and the two lines must also meet the edge at 90 degrees. So let's have a line on the other plane meeting the edge at 90. We also have another line on this other plane meeting the edge at 90. So this angle here, that is the angle we are interested in. So we are going to extract this right angle triangle because 90 is at that point. So when you extract that triangle, what you are going to have is, we know that CF is 6 centimeters and EF should be 16 centimeters and therefore this height here should be 6 and this length here should be 16 and the angle between the two planes is this one right here at that point let's call it theta we have 90 right there so we can say with respect to this angle 16 is opposite 6 is adjacent so we say tan theta is equal to opposite which is 16 over adjacent which is 6 that should give us this is 8 over 3 so that theta becomes 
the turn inverse of 8 over 3. And this gives us 69.44395, which is approximately 69.4 degrees, that is to one decimal place. Next, we are told point N is a midpoint of EF. Calculate the length BN correct to one decimal place. Well, from the diagram, Remember, I'm just borrowing from this diagram here. I'm taking this part here. That is what I've drawn down here. So we have that. And we are told that N is the midpoint of EF. So N is somewhere in the middle, point N. And calculate length BN. Sorry, from B to n. Now for us to get bn, we can consider this length bf also, so that we have some right angle triangle. So we'll be required to get the size of bf. Already we know that nf is a half of ef, ef for 16, therefore nf should be 8. So we need to get what bf is. Already we know that bc is 12 and CF is 6. So we can get BF here. BF is the hypotenuse. Remember here is 90. We can extract it here. This is 12. This is 6. Therefore BF, BF should become the square root of 12 squared plus 6 squared. Now this is 144 plus 36, that is the square root of 180. 180, this simplifies as 6 root 5. If you like, you can just press that from your calculator directly. But 6 root 5, I obtain by simply saying 180 is 9 times 4 times 5. Therefore, the square root is root 9 is 3 times root 4 is 2 and then times root 2, the other root 5, not 2. That is 6 root 5. So that is how I got to this. And I think we now know what BF is, 6 root 5. We can now get BN. And for BN, let's extract triangle BFN. So, this is B, F, here we have 90, just as we have in the diagram. And then N is here. And this is 8. B, F, you already have. B, F is now 6 root 5. And for us to get B, N, we'll use Pythagoras theorem. B, N is equal to the square root of 8 squared plus 6 root 5 squared. This is just the square root of 64 plus, this is 180. This simplifies to the square root of 244. And when we work out this, we get 15.6205, which is approximately 15.6 centimeters. That is correct to one decimal place as we've been required to do in the question. So with this, we mark the end of the solution to the problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.